What's up guys, welcome to the new video. So, I just had a film this morning from our game last week. Every week we have our football games, obviously, because they're high school games on Fridays, and we always have film on Sundays. We won last week, it was a rivalry game, really excited about that. But just got back and I am starving, so I'm going to make a protein shake. I'm not gonna have a full meal, like food-wise, because I'm gonna go to the gym probably 30, 45 minutes. So I'm gonna make a protein shake, but I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in depth with you guys with what I usually or normally put into it, show you guys my protein powder and some of the other stuff I put in to get the most out of these. This is technically a meal replacement protein shake because it'll be higher in calorie, high carb, high pro. Well, I don't know if it'll be high carb, but it'll definitely be really high in protein, but it'll be a lot more calories than just having the protein with just milk or water. So this technically is a meal replacement, but I'm not gonna eat food, I'd rather do this. So let's go ahead and jump in to my protein shake. First thing, of course, you have to have for a protein shake is a blender. And so right here, I have my Ninja blender. I've had this for a while. I guess the only complaint I guess I could say that I have is that I do like to put a lot in my protein shakes, especially when it's a meal replacement like these. So I could use a bigger bottle. Uh-oh, hold on, where's mine? Okay, I'll have to find that. Anyways, but let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what I put into it. So first thing for the uh, liquid base, okay, yeah, the liquid base is chocolate milk. I like to use the one percent, one percent low fat chocolate milk. Two point five grams of fat, eight grams of protein, twenty nine grams of carbs, and that's in one cup. And I use one cup in that. The next thing I do is I always put a, some sort of yogurt in there. So I usually use the Chobani ones. I just started getting these flip ones. They are really good. Um, then I always put peanut butter in the peanut butter gives me a little more fat, but it's not bad fat and more calories too. Then I'm going to put half a cup of egg whites and then the protein powder I use is the ghost Whey protein powder. This flavor is cereal milk. I really do like this one. I think the next one I'm going to try out is going to be the blueberry toaster pastry because that sounds really, really good. And some of these things you don't have to use in every single one. Sometimes I throw fruit in, sometimes I throw a banana in, it just depends. But this is what I'm gonna use for this protein shake right now. So I'm gonna make this and then afterwards I'll come, with you, come at you guys with um, the nutritional facts and the macros for this protein shake. Alright guys, so there were 70 carb, 26 fat, and 63 protein in this protein shake, and 750 calories, so really good for meal replacement. I'm about to go hit the gym, I'm gonna do upper body, so I'll see you guys when I get over there. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Push. All the way up, all the way up. 
way up. What's up guys? So I hope you enjoyed the video yes no, okay, this morning of me working out. It was a really good workout. Had a bunch of my friends come actually. Three of us worked out. The others just kind of watched and hung out with us, which was still fun. Um, I just was at Starbucks and was doing homework and usually when I go to Starbucks, I'm able to get a video posted up because they have good Wi-Fi. And um, I was just watching somebody that I love to watch, which is Max Tuning. He made a great point about just not taking the gym so serious just take it serious but don't make it to where you don't do things because of it it's more of a lifestyle meaning you balance it with other things and that was a really good thing for me to hear because honestly I feel like I've been taking things maybe a little too seriously uh, recently and it's not a technically a bad thing and I've really been missing out on anything but I need to be more relaxed and just enjoy things and don't get so frustrated about the smaller things so that was a great thing and definitely go check out his channel max tuning two x's in his name um and just get some of the tips that he gives because they're great and his most recent video that i just watched i think it says a surprise or something was a really good one so i definitely recommend checking that one out but right now i'm actually on my way to go pick up some of my new shirt orders and these shirt orders if you're interested please let me know uh, maybe go on my instagram or my twitter and dm me uh, on either one of those and I'll try my hardest to get you one as of now I don't have a website or anything uploaded onto the internet to be able to ship these out I'm not really familiar with that yet but down the road if this becomes something that's legit which it is legit but I'm saying if it gets really popular when I hope it does I'm gonna keep working to make that happen um, I will eventually have to make a website but as of right now the person I'm working with Vanessa Hooper she's great really knows what she's doing and has been a huge help for me and I'm actually picking up 13 shirts right now, and I have four at my house I still have to deliver. And I'm selling long sleeves for 20 and short sleeves for 15. And so far, I've been able to get a good amount of purchases, mainly from friends, but it's still awesome. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far. Um, gonna be hitting legs tomorrow, so I'll show some clips from that. But, about to go home after I pick these shirts up, and probably just chill for a little bit and then go to bed. So, I will see you guys in the morning.
Term grades? Oh, yeah. That was a text. What's up, guys? So, I hope you enjoyed the workout this morning. I just got home, just ate a really good dinner that uh, my parents fixed up. Had salmon, salad, asparagus, and just some noodles to add a little extra carb. Um, right now, I'm on my way to go do some homework at Starbucks, and yes, I realize I spend a lot of time at Starbucks, but I feel I concentrate a lot better when I am there. Um, tomorrow is kind of a, God, there's no light right now. Nope, I can't do that. It's kind of a weird day because, um, school's a little different, and we want to weight training in the morning, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do to work out. Definitely gonna get a workout on tomorrow though, I just don't know when, but either way you'll see clips from that. But as of now, I'm gonna go get some homework done and then just try to get back I get back home as soon as possible because I really wanna get some sleep. So I'll see you guys when I get to Starbucks. What's up guys, so to make this morning work for a workout, I came in early, it's seven o'clock right now. I'm waiting on my coach to get here and to unlock the weight room. Um, afterwards, homeroom, which is just not a class I have to go to, is 8.15 to 9.15, so I'm gonna work out from seven to about 8.30. I'm gonna go shower and get some food. Chick-fil-A, probably gonna get the egg white grill, which is really good, I would definitely recommend that. This morning though, I'm gonna do chest and triceps, and one of my other buddies is coming to hit, hit this with me. Garen, y'all seen him in the past workouts before. Gonna be a good workout, excited about it, but let's go ahead and get to it. I have two of these right now. This is the sour watermelon that I've showed you guys in the past, and I just got a blue wrapper one the other day. I took that one yesterday. Oh my gosh, that's so sour. Ugh.
All right, guys, so that workout was intense. I'm not even kidding when I say that. Some people will go and they'll make it seem like they're going hard, but they really aren't. I mean, that's why I showed you guys the supersets and how we were doing them because that was so hard. Performing four sets of each of those supersets was insane. We started out on the first superset with incline bench and dips. Dips weren't too bad, but the last... Um, not the last, but the incline bench. Started off with 60s, did those for two sets, and I could not even move that weight at the end of it. It was so hard, so I dropped down to 50s, finished out the last two sets. Now I am on my way to Chick-fil-A to go get some breakfast. Gonna get the egg white grill, like I said earlier. Come back, shower up, and get ready for school, and just see how the day goes. But as of now, this is going to be the last clip of this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the workouts. There's three different workouts that I gave you guys. And I know I benched, that was bad. I know I benched twice in this workout, but one was Sunday and one was Tuesday. Always separate any day like that. Don't do bench days two days in a row or chest days two days in a row. They see what I'm saying. So hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe and comment down below anything you guys want to say. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one.